What is going on guys and girls, it is Ghost Robo and today we have a very unique and exciting card game for you guys to eat. What is going on guys and girls, it is Ghost Robo and today we have a very unique and exciting card game to share with all of you. It is called Kareem Odyssey and it looks like this. This is a game about battles, about items and strategy, about placing you within a video game type fight, which is what I love most. It really feels like you are within an RPG, forming a team of characters, assigning them items, and going to work on your opponents. This isn't just the typical place a creature out there, hope that their attack can overwhelm the opposition. No, you really have to think on your toes and utilize combos of cards to be effective. And I like that it really forces you to think and almost put together puzzles within your mind while implementing a very cool system that involves terrains and items and cards to coagulate into a cornucopia of deliciousness. Ooh. You may remember we covered this game a while back. They had a Kickstarter, unfortunately it failed, but they... Do you remember him? Do you remember him? Do you remember SK? SK, the warrior of the century, our favorite card from the original set we got, but they are rejuvenated, they are regrouped and back with a new Kickstarter, and we got to play with a bunch of new decks. It's so awesome, and like straight off the bat, I am not sponsored, I am not being paid, there is nothing like that going on. <laughs> no, he's not. I just really like this game, and so I have wanted it to get made so that I can play it, and so that I can play it with my friends and give them copies and enjoy it as a group together, because it's so good. We are people. Yes, we are. And we are card game players. Yes, we are. And we enjoyed stuff like Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, Dragon Ball Z, Magic, all those- Yes, we did! When we were younger. We still do. Sometimes. Ooh. But this one really captures our minds because of the fact that it, it does require, I think, a little more thought. At first, it's somewhat daunting, but once you get the handle of your cards in your deck, you can really put together this beautiful flow that I feel is so rewarding when you execute a, a perfect move. You know, like, there's more to it than just, Charmander, go! Fire flame. It's definitely not just about my attack versus your defense. It's much more about giving this character this item so that it can stun this character and attack that character. So, like you said, it's not just, oh, here's my attack, here's your defense. There's a bunch of, so many other variables at play, your terrain and your items and switching them out and you lose a character and you cry and then you get a tissue and you keep playing and then... The link to the Kickstarter is down in the description below, and they've almost reached their goal, so it'd be really cool if the Ghost Robo Army helped push them over the edge, give them a hot cocoa monsoon to cover that hill that they are about to crest over. It's a super fun game. I backed it myself, and basically I just want to see this thing get made so that we can play more of it and we can have fun. There are a bunch of starter decks, and then you can also form your own deck if you are a big boy mastermind. Whoa. Not sure we have reached that level yet. So why don't we just show you guys some gameplay? We have some. And now, enjoy it. My turn. Y'all. Draw my card. Please give me some good guys. I'm going to put both of these guys in the field. I have four actions. Boy, oh boy, how things have changed. Well, first I'm going to use this to heal and remove the stun on Sammy. That doesn't cost anything. That's just my terrain effect. That's so good. I don't know how that's even fair. All right, so I'm going to flip over Xyle the Recruiter. That's one action. Um, and then I'm going to flip over... Uh, Talon the pickpocket for two actions. I'm back to four characters strong. My supply is full. I'm gonna put some heat on you. I'm gonna attack with Sammy the Agile. Demon Tie is the only guy that can take it. I'll do five to Demon Tie. Be ten. Oh, you have plus five demon defense. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Five on him. Alright, so f he's at 25 damage. I got one action left. Okay, so I'm gonna remove a stratagem and have Skylar gain plus five till the end of the turn. That doesn't cost an action? No. Wow. And then we're going to attack with Skylar for our fourth and final action of the turn. 25 attack. 25 attack. Whew. Bringing me back in the driver's seat, baby. Right. Well, you can kill Shogun. Okay, get him out of there. So I gain an XP, and I... It was move. 25, so did 23, so 10, and then 10 went to me, so I'm down to 10 Holy HP. Holy crap. Okay, you're down to 10 HP. Skylar is, heals up quite a bit. Your training card is way better than mine. I don't understand how. Hot springs? Man, those hot springs are nice. Seaside it's like a hot tub. You always want to be in the hot this tub. This card has like Princess Peach on it or something. All my guys are so happy to be in there. Let's get a little bit more into the nitty gritty of Tareen Odyssey. You've got a couple different card types that I want to highlight here. The first one being characters. Characters obviously have an HP, an attack, a defense, some different uh, actions that they may be able to carry out per turn, possibly some effects as well. Now, they also have, as you'll see at the top, a level 
and an SP count. And one of the things that you really have to think about when you're playing the game is you can have four points of characters out there. So if this guy's an SP of two, that takes up two of those four. So you really gotta think if you wanna have a team of four one point characters, a team of two two point characters, a three and a one, how you're gonna balance things. Because this is a game where you're trying to lower your opponent from 50 to zero. But also, if your field is wiped, just like in Pokemon, just like in any good old video game RPG, you lose your entire group at once, boom, you're out. It's a KO and game over no matter what your score is at. So you really have to plan accordingly and pick how you're going to assemble your team ready for battle. Next is the terrain card, which is not only the location that your squad is battling at, but it is also what dictates exactly what you can do on each turn. And as you can see in the top corner, there is a number of actions, and depending on which location you have, it will give you a different number of actions that you can use on each turn. Yeah, what's really cool about the action point system here is it's pretty open-ended. It's not super linear, so you're able to attack and use items and switch things around kind of freeform, which I think opens up a lot more strategic possibility and potential than if it's just straight up, okay, here is the item phase, here is the character phase, here is the battle phase. That, you know, rigidness kind of removes a lot of the ability to be creative and here I think you're able to really give it your own style. And what's also cool about the terrain cards as you can see towards the middle of the card is these different um, levels of XP which indicate when you defeat a character and your characters start to level up what new um, powers or regenerative abilities they gain um, as they level up and get stronger. There's also item and command cards which are pretty self-explanatory. These do things like deal direct damage to a character, slow a character down, prevent them from attacking, deal all sorts of status effects, or do something like grant another action, respond to a play by your opponent, and it's pretty open-ended in terms of when these can be used. There's a lot of cards that are able to be used as sort of responses um, to things done on your opponent's turn, so you, you're involved throughout. It's, there's not a lot of downtime. You're really kind of playing on both people's turn most of the game. And what I really like is that while most of the items and commands are open-ended, there are some that are more character-specific, and you do have to attach certain items to certain characters in order to use them. So as much as it is open-ended, there is a lot of strategy that needs to be t uh, taken into account to play each card correctly. Just to throw out a few negatives, I think that the game has a pretty steep learning curve. When you get your deck, you're going to really have to look through your cards and know what they do and probably know what your opponents do as well. Also, I think we found because there is such variety in cards... And what you can do. And what you can do, like connecting some of the dots is a little bit tricky. I would like a little more clarity um, within the rules and within the cards, but I don't think it hampered our gameplay all that much. No, and I think the, the steep learning curve is more about being able to strategize correctly and more in depth because you can pick up the game and the instructions are pretty easy. It's just... Yeah, because you want to combo everything, you've got to know like what might be coming up later in my deck or how this is going to perfectly play with that to form those really nice chains and even before that, creating the deck. <laughs> yeah, if you were going to create your deck, you really, really need to know. But yeah, I think we found like picking up and play is one thing, but if you want to really get good, it, it might take a little bit of time, but for us, it, it paid off because then we enjoyed how much strategy we could use. And right. like you were playing this spellcaster deck and just kept chaining these spells and powering up the spells and using them again. And I was like, oh my god! And then I was playing this deck with ninjas and I was subverting all of your plays and just taking down your characters from silently. Like when you'd play, I'd flip it over and just nullify your move, which is like. Frustrating. Oh, beautiful feeling. <laughs> I think that the best thing I can say about Terrain Odyssey is that it really makes you feel like you're within a video game battle where thinking and strategizing is rewarded, and that's kind of a rare and unique mechanic slash feel. I don't know that I've seen it before in a card or board game that I've played. And it focuses on what you can do with the cards that you have rather than just waiting for the Charizard to show up in your deck. It's not all about just what's in your deck, like, oh, I have the best Yu-Gi-Oh deck. Yeah. It's about how can I use the cards it's that I have. Really good point. I don't think we saw any, like, super cards, right. really, that, like, oh, my God, you're just waiting for this. It's more about... Any card can be taken down with this right, right strategy. Right. Synergizing and formulating your most beautiful tactics within your brain space. So go check out Terrain Odyssey. Links in the description below. They are super close to their Kickstarter goal, so go support it if you are interested. Get yourself a copy of the game and some other cool rewards. I think it would be super cool if we could say that the Ghost Show Army helped push this thing into existence. We are both big board and card game fans. We really love this one. And we want you to support Terrain Odyssey. We hope that you enjoy playing it as well. Thank you for watching. Thank you for giving us your ears, your eyes, your hearts, your fingers, your nails. Your love, your food, your
your dreams, your kisses, your children. So that is gonna do it for today, guys and girls. We've thrown some extra gameplay at the end of the video if you're extra intrigued. Thank you so much for watching. Go and check out this Tarine Odyssey. Until next time, Jake, thanks for being here. <laughs> Drink some hot chocolate, and we will see you all later. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, 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 stop. Stop, 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 you're gonna hurt your mouth. That's so gross. Tareen, Odyssey, and it looks like... <laughs> you're so bad at that. Dang it. Yeah, between like picking up and playing and being like a master. It's basically what it is. Yes, training for the annual Tareen Odyssey World, World Championships and, and winning your $5 million that was prize. The Okay. I should just sit here. No, you can smile or laugh or touch me or something. Ready? Okay, stop. Oh, 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 oh. Or hold. It's so go check out Tareen Odyssey. Links in the description below. They are super close to their Kickstarter goal. Go get. Your what are you doing? <laughs> stop. That's not good. Bad, 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 bad. Starts from face up for the camera. Exercises. Plays. Doom. Doom. Okay. Ready. My first turn, let's kick this off, draw that card, and we're gonna get guys ready for battle. First action is Zowie. I call her Zoe, but she's really Zowie. Owie, Zowie. Owie. Zowie. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of Sour. I don't know why. Sour Zowie. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a sour candy. Yeah. My Zowie. Eat those Zowies. That's one action. She's immune to command, so you can't touch her. Summon Luminous. My second action. Our third one. We'll go after Asu the Flame Hellion. I'll save an action, and it is your move, my friend. Uh, I will use one action of my three to dismiss the energy. Pew. And um, get to go through my discard pile again and pick a spell. I pick Fireball. So um, since he's level two, it goes up to level two, which deals 15 stab damage to a target character or player. So oh, unfortunately. Crap. No! Jake and Lilith. No! Take a hike. No! Yes. Oh my god, no, you killed them. Gosh yeah. darn it. It's like a last breath, so... Wait, yeah, you are, you are on your heels supreme. Tematai gets an XP, which grants him uh, plus five defense. Crap, my whole plan, no. This is going uh... for the game. And I have two actions left. All I have in my hand is a dumb bird. Good. <laughs> so I like to hear. Uh, All right. I'm going to... Um, You're going to gain back your fourth action next turn now, which is... That, that's why they were so good. They were limiting your ability to make moves, which was helping ha, ha, you so ha. much. Ha, 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 ha. It's so gross. Take it out, seriously. You're gonna get ink poisoning 